I would like to talk about some tricks in RAW which can be pretty helpful. Uh, when I move um, an object, I can do it like this. And when I uh, push the shift button, it'll be moving just vertically or horizontally or in a 45 uh, angle degree. Um, when I move it with the Alt button, uh, I can uh, do it pretty exact. With, uh, without the Alt button, it will orientate on the grid. You see it jumping, and without or with the Alt button, um, it doesn't orientate on the grid lines. And I can also uh, use both buttons, Shift and Alt, together. And it'll be uh, moving vertically, horizontally, and in a 45 angle degree without orientating itself on the grid lines. Um, I can also move it with the uh, curve keys, going to uh, to the right and left. And when I use the curve keys and moving uh, move it with the shift button it'll uh, jump uh, by a centimeter and moving it with the alt button it'll be uh, pretty exact uh, without the alt button it'll orientate it'll jump half a uh, grid line and with the alt button it'll be pretty exact uh, when duplicating i can use the control button so I'll move it and push the control button and it'll, it'll duplicate the shape. Um, I can um, combine the control button with the shift button. So it'll be then duplicating in a vertically or horizontal line or 45 angle degree. Um, or I even duplicate it with a Control and Alt button. And that way uh, I can move it on, a, on the right exact spot that I like to have. And even combine all three of these buttons or keys, um, Control, Alt and Shift. And then even do the vertical horizontal line um, and do it in an exact way. Um, when I draw a shape, I can use the ellipse. Uh, it'll look like this. And whenever I use the, um, the shift button, it'll be a circle. And when I do draw a rectangle like this, and I push the shift button, it'll be a square. And um, when I draw some shapes and uh, pushing the Alt key, uh, it'll, it'll be centered. And um, I can also do uh, combining those the alt and the shift key and it'll be centered and then um <coughs> yeah, and a circle i can change the shape with the shift button uh, when i do this without the shift button it'll be like this with the shift button yeah it will get longer on one side in the same direction. Or um, I can also use the Alt button. So without the Alt button, it'll jump with the, uh, on, the, on the grid lines. And <coughs> with the Alt button, you can do it really exact. And you can even combine those two, Alt and Shift, like this. Whenever I want to zoom in um, 
my document I can do with the control button and the uh, scroll uh, wheel on the mouse and um, I can go to the next page using these page page up and page down keys on my keyboard that way I can pretty fast go to the next page and um, when I want to select some elements, I can do it like this and select them. Uh, or like this. But when I just want to have these three here, I can use the shift button, push it and select. So when I move it, I won't be moving this little um, rectangle. Or I can even add this one by uh, pushing the shift button. And now when I move it, it'll be all four of them. Uh, if I want to uh, sub uh, or uh, get rid of one of these, I just unselect it and unselect this one. So it'll be just these two, uh, the two of these uh, shapes. If you have some questions or some suggestions or would like to change some um, material, I'd be happy if you join my um, Discord server. The link for this server is below this video.